Let's go now to Idris Turiola, uh, of equities dealer at Stambik IBTC Brokers, uh, to look at uh, trading for yesterday at the Nigerian Bulls. Idris, if you can hear me, good morning. Well, let's take a look at market trading yesterday. We saw you know, several sessions of losses, particularly uh, led by market blue chips. Now, we're looking at a recovery yesterday. Over 1% is what the market gained yesterday, led by, of course, the bellwethers themselves. Uh, give, run us through uh, what uh, market sentiment was yesterday and what was the key driving factor that lifted sentiment at the market? Uh, looking at the market yesterday, we saw a recovery after the decline we witnessed in the market last week. Market gaining. Um, 1.12 percent. Though we saw volume and value decline, uh, volume declined over 50 percent, and value was down over 33 percent. I believe what actually drove interest was um, the levels at which the prices of stocks were. They looked very attractive, and there was significant decline in, in most stocks in the market, continuing the decline in the market last week, especially in the banking sector. And what we actually saw yesterday was renewed buying interest in names like Zenith Bank, JT Bank, First Bank in the market, and this actually helped the ASI in gaining yesterday. Now we saw a, a sell-off in bank stocks yesterday following that MPC decision. Are you saying that investors have shaken all of that up and are now looking to, you know, of course, the uh, fundamental value still inherent in these bank stocks? Yeah, after the MPC decision, we witnessed a significant sell off in banks um, last week. And yesterday, what we saw was investors buying into these banks yesterday. And this shows that investors have confidence and they are happy with the levels at which the prices were. And we're confident that this, ba this bank will definitely um, make good earnings. And, they were and those prices looked very, very attractive for them. So we saw significant buying interest in them yesterday. So this fresh bargain hunting that we saw yesterday, do you think it could go on for the rest of the week? Yeah, I want to believe it should go on, but investors will be careful at the, at the levels actually they pick up um, the stocks. They won't buy aggressively, they won't buy up at high levels, but if they see that prices that they are comfortable with, I believe they will pick the stocks. Okay, let's talk quickly talk about uh, some earnings that came out yesterday with focus on UBA and UAC. Uh, UBA numbers uh, were good, but not too great, as some uh, analysts have said. Gross earnings up 16.7%, net profit coming in at just a little over uh, 5% at 28 Point four billion. How did market? How did the markets receive these results? Well, looking at UBS, the stock lost slightly, but looking at their results, um, that uh, the gross earnings what looked very impressive. Um, there was about seventeen percent growth in their gross earnings, and this can be attributed to um, increase we saw in um, income from investing security and growth in their loan books. Uh, though the um, PBC was was up by 10%, which was um, not too impressive to compare to the expectation of investors. And we could actually attribute this to growth we saw in their deposits, um, about 33% growth in their deposit. I believe for them to have been able to grow their deposit, then it will also help them to grow their loan books for that. At the end of the day, UBA should come out greater than we saw yesterday. Now, we know that the market, uh, many investors are worried about some banks that they believe are exposed to uh, public sector deposits. We know, of course, that's a new 50% uh, CRR on the public banks, public sector deposit. Uh, do, you, are we, do you think UBA is one of those banks that investors may be worried about, especially looking at these numbers uh, that are just, uh, of course, net profit just coming in at 5%? Yeah, I believe UBA is one of them because it cuts across um, mo um, all banks, but most banks are more affected than the others. Uh, I believe uh, UBA would have their strategy on um, raising cheap deposits and to be able to um, bridge that gap. And I believe if they're able to achieve this and raising cheap deposits, it will, it will work in their favor. Now, what's your outlook for UBA going forward, uh, perhaps trading for this week and uh, for the rest of the, of the year, the next, uh, quart the next two quarters of the year? Uh, I really don't see a significant drop in the share price in UBA. I see, I believe that there's a slight, there's still upside for the stock, and I believe investors will, will definitely still have buying interest in it. All right, let's move on to UAC. Uh, numbers, uh, well, moderate turnover up 24%. Profit before tax coming up uh, over 51 percent, while net profit came in up 61 percent. Now the group says that numbers are strong due to the restructuring that it's doing uh, for the group uh, into a holding company. They, are, they say more uh, their subsidiaries are now more uh, efficient. Do you think this was the underlying factor that uh, made these numbers quite strong? Yeah, we saw them come out with strong numbers, and I believe. Um USA, they are being innovative and diversifying into different line of business, and this will this is this will definitely um, grow their profitability. And we've seen them grow their volumes um, in all their various businesses, and they've also been able to 
um, get better and um, their um, distribution channels for their products. I believe all this are, are, has, has worked in their favor and they've been able to grow their profit. And I believe going forward, this, um, the, the, the only way for um, USCN is just to grow their business. Okay, let's talk about likes. Let's talk about your top five picks for today. Hopefully, we might see that uh, rally from yesterday continuing today. But what sectors of stocks do you think investors could be focusing on today? Uh, we, we like GT Bank, we like USA, and we like Farmers, and we like Dangote Cement. We believe um, there's still upside potential for Dangote Cement. Looking at cement and cement, um, there's still significant demand for the product in the market. And Dangote Cement, um, they, they have been able to... Um, minimize their costs and they are still working on ways of bringing down their costs so which should definitely work in their favor and growing their earnings at the end of the day so we believe there's still upside potential for the stock now are we expecting some more earnings uh, we saw a raft of them coming out yesterday a few banks and of course from the consumer goods sector what key earnings are the markets expecting today uh, for, for the market, the, uh, the market expects most of the stock, uh, most of the company listed to release their half-year result because it's long overdue. Um, this is um, end of July already, so we still expect this uh, most corporate listed on the exchange to release their result. And if these results come out positive, it's a major catalyst which will help the ASI grow on positive notes.